Good day everyone. You are welcome to this week's Business and Investment Tips program, a production of Christchurch Radio. My name is Ayodeji Ebo, an investment professional. This week, the focus is on the review of the 2020 Finance Act. President Muhammadu Buhari signed the Finance Bill 2020, now Finance Act, into law on the 31st December 2020 and with an effective date of 1st January 2021. This new law improves on the 2019 version and contains over 80 changes to 14 different laws that would affect all stakeholders in the economy. The Finance Act is a fiscal legislation enacted by the government which contains amendments to tax rates and laws, duties, exemptions, incentives and reliefs at least once per year. The Act's broad strategic objectives include addressing government's tax revenue gap through various fiscal measures, supporting small business entities in line with ease of business reforms, and introducing tax incentives for investment in critical sectors, infrastructure, and capital markets. We would touch on some of the changes made in the 2020 Finance Act. 1. The reduction in minimum tax for companies regarding returns for the year of assessment due between 1st January 2020 and 31st December 2021 from 0.5% to 0.25% of gross turnover less franked investment income. Franked investment income is classified as an investment income on which tax has already been paid, usually deducted at source and thus exempted from additional tax by the investor. 2. The reduction in import duties on tractors from 35% to 5%, mass transit vehicles for the transport of more than 10 persons and trucks from 35% to 10%, and import levy on cars from 35% to 5%, import duty 35% and import levy 35% applies to importing new cars, while import duty applies only to used cars. This implies that this reduction does not affect the importation of used cars, which accounts for over 80% of total car importation. However, this is positive for vehicles used for business. The business wire research firm in Dublin estimates that the agricultural tractor market in Nigeria was worth $350 million in 2018 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 4.4 percent during 2019 to 2024. Hence, the reduction in import duty will incentivize more investment in tractors and boost agriculture mechanization. 3. The Finance Act states that unclaimed dividends in a listed company and dormant account balances with deposit money banks unutilized for six years or more will be transferred to the unclaimed fund trust fund to be managed by the debt management office. The act promises to pay a return at the point of claiming these funds. There is no clarity around the rate, the debt instrument the fund will invest in, the process of claiming the funds or dividend, and the period the return would cover. If this is implemented immediately, it will impact on the level of the deposit of the banks which is currently estimated at approximately 30 trillion. The cost of funds for banks with significant exposure to dormant balances will spike. Unclaimed dividends stands at around 200 billion. 4. The Act exempts low-income earners receiving minimum wage or less from personal income tax. The pay-as-you-earn is adopted for calculating personal income tax of employees and the rates of 7% applies to the first 300,000 Naira per annum and 11% to the next 300,000 Naira per annum. 5. Value added tax will no longer apply to the transfer of land, purchase of a house, house rent on lease of residential or commercial property. This exemption also extends to commercial flight tickets. 6. The Act stipulates that small or medium companies engage in primary agricultural production may be granted pioneer status for an initial period of four years and an additional two years translating to a total of six years. This will boost agriculture production and encourage more investment in this space. Agriculture contributes over 21% to GDP and about 49% to employment in Nigeria with over 90% informal. 
This will support more investment, which will boost growth and drive a reduction in food prices if other challenges are addressed. 7. The Act has extended excise duty to include telecommunication services provider in Nigeria. This may impact the cost of airtime and data. 8. The Act cancelled the 50 Naira stamp duty on electronic bank transfer and introduces electronic money transfer levy of 50 Naira on electronic transfer of money deposited in any bank or financial institution on any account on the sum of 10,000 or more. This may be in addition to the current electronic bank transfer charges where customers pay 10 Naira for transfer below 5,000, 25 Naira for transfers between 5,000 and 50,000 and 50 Naira charge for transfer above 50,000 Naira. Thank you for listening. Please join us same time next week for another exciting and insightful session. For comments and feedback, kindly forward to CC Radio at rccgchristchurch.org or send SMS to 070-8246-3747. Stay blessed.